Well, hey, CCW family. It has been a couple days since you have heard from me or from anybody. And so we're doing things a little bit differently and I'll, I'll share a little bit more about that as we go. I wanted to just give you an update. And so we're gonna do a couple touches a week, maybe three videos a week, something like that. And, um, but I just wanted to talk about our staff for a few minutes and talk about some highlights and some challenges that we've had. And can you believe that we are almost six weeks into quarantine and um, we've already had five Sundays that we've missed being together and I am sure longing to be back together. I don't know when that'll be, but hopefully pretty soon. So as we're doing things differently, I just wanted to highlight the staff and thank them personally and ask you to, uh, to thank them as well. And I wanna start with Trish and uh, Trish and I talk several times a week and um, you know, she has been doing, uh, well, you see her, I mean, she's been doing the music in her basement and, and I know doing these videos that rarely is it a one take and you're done. And um, so usually we laugh as we talk with each other, how many takes did you do and, and that kind of stuff. And, and so I just, I, I really appreciate Trish and what she's done and, and her husband, Jeff and, and daughter, Sarah. And, um, but that's not the only thing she's doing. And so at church, there was a projector in the auditorium that went down, it failed. And, and then the other one started to go and the center one is okay, which we were thankful for that because that's the big bad boy. Um, but, but Trish has done research and talked to people. Justin Miller's been pulled in the loop on that. And um, the projectors just arrived at church and so those will be installed and ready to go. She's working on some other things and um, like ProPresenter, which is just basically some, some, an upgraded software that um, our presentations are gonna look a whole lot better. So I just wanted to thank her. I know Justin McKee is also helping us put our videos together, do some editing and, and put this out for Sundays. And so I wanted to share that with you. Um, let me talk about Linda. I appreciate Linda and what she's doing. And uh, there are some days when I talk to her on the phone, she goes, oh, I've talked to 10 different people today and she's doing her best at keeping up with everybody and, and the needs that are there. And um, she does a great job in keeping me in the loop of that. And, and just in case you haven't read the care page, uh, Mike Truex's dad passed away yesterday. And so I ask you to, to pray for Mike and his family and, and the things that they're gonna be walking through the next little bit. Also, um, Linda has uh, kept me informed about our Pink Fight Club, our Ladies Fight Club, and that's going well, going strong, and I appreciate that. And April and Amy are doing a great job putting together, um, or leading our, our Girls Fight Club. Uh, also, Linda's working on some stuff for the summer, and so she is looking forward and trying to figure out what our ladies' ministry should look like. All right, let's talk about Sheena for a second. I appreciate Sheena and all that she has been doing. And she's, if you've got a teenager, you know that your kids are doing a couple Zooms a week and um, they're doing breakfast club on Sundays and they're doing Wednesday nights. And my kids just got off Zoom tonight uh, with their youth group. And there's some other parent times that Sheena's done some check-ins. She's also started this flag tag thing where you might get a hundred pink flags stuck in your yard and with the whole sanitation thing, you either have to sanitize every single flag or let them sit there for three days and then you can tag somebody else. And yep, we've had our pink flags in our front lawn. Thank you, Kyle Martin. By the way, don't tell him I said this, but we were on a family walk the other day and Kyle left all his bikes and lawn chairs and stuff in the driveway of his house and they got put on the side of the house so they would think that somebody stole all their bikes and their launchers. Don't tell them that it was us. All right, cool. But I appreciate what Sheena's doing and um, she, she's doing a great job. Let me move to Julie. Julie uh, is doing a great job with Treasure Land. And this is one of the, the uh, I guess, challenges and makes my heart a little bit heavy is on March 15th, I was planning an announcement that day. And God has been working in Laura's heart for a little bit. And Laura has um, chosen to follow what God is telling her to do. 
And so Julie is also doing the same thing. So I was planning on March 15th having Laura come up and publicly thank her and and praise her, which I'm doing now. And I, I invite you to also thank her for her leadership in Treasure Land, but also announce that Julie Kilmer has been uh, moved by God to step into that role and become our children's ministry director. And we were going to pray over her. And and so please pray for Julie and support her and, and so whatever she needs to step up. So Julie has been working with our children's stuff for the last little bit and doing a great job. And she was the one behind our Easter Jam party last week. And I'm going to talk more about Treasure Land here in a second. Uh, I know she's been posting kids lessons and things like that so that you can make sure you have some guidelines and, and some ideas to what to do with your kids. Let's move to Jane. I appreciate Jane. And um, today, this is Wednesday, Wednesday evening. And um, today is Administrative Assistant Day. And so Lisa and I, we took Jane some flowers yesterday. And, and of course, we tried to make sure we had our physical distance thing going. And, and But anyway, uh, I appreciate what Jane does. And she's been keeping up with our mail and emails and phone calls. And she's Corinne's right hand gal, if, if I can, if that's a term I could use, and helping with finances and things like that. Uh, she's also uh, doing some structure issues and organization into the administrative side of things, like our databases and, and things like that. While we have time um, where things are a little bit slower or different, I shouldn't say slower, they're different. And she's bringing some organization to the office, which I appreciate that. Corinne, I appreciate Corinne and what she is doing, and she's making sure that our finances are, are taken care of and doing a great job with that, as she always does. And um, But some of the things that you probably don't know is that Corinne is spending a lot of time on webinars and podcasts and doing a lot of reading, trying to figure out what we can or cannot do with what the government has done. And so she's also talked to financial institutions and our insurance company and, and things like that just to make sure that we are in the best seat that we can be in financially and, and taking advantage of whatever we can and keeping us on, on solid footing. So talking about our finances, I've had several people ask me about our offerings and how we do and what does it look like, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, you haven't had a program to read. And, and so I, let me just say the first two Sundays, uh, of course it was a surprise for all of us. And um, the first two Sundays was, was a little thin. And, um, and so I so, said, well, you know, we, we have to kind of take a look at that. But then the next three weeks were pretty strong. And so I want to just say to you, my CCW family, thank you for your kindness. Th thank you for thinking about your church. Thank you for being committed to God's church and for your generosity. And so I pray that God blesses you for your kindness, for your generosity, for your commitment to his house. Uh, it, it's awesome. So thank you so much for that. Okay, so here's another challenge. There was a win that I wanted to bring to you and, and to, to share with, to, just to raise your awareness. And it's about our mortgage. And this is something that I've only been here a year and so I'm learning uh, as well and, and digging in and trying to figure things out. But in 2017, some of you may not know this, but some of you probably do. In 2017, we had almost a $1 million mortgage. It was 900 something. And I'm not ex exactly sure of the figure. And so uh, about six weeks ago, maybe two months ago, something like that, um, we dug in a little bit. I wanted to see where we were. And I wanted to bring to you this past month from the stage at church this win that we now have a mortgage of approximately $200,000. So did you hear that? In two and a half years, God has enabled us to, to get our mortgage down by $700,000. We have dropped our mortgage from 900 something thousand to 200 something thousand in two and a half years. And I just want to say thank you, God. Thank you, church, for your kindness and your commitment and celebrate with me. This is an awesome thing. And so we are looking at that. All right, so what have I been doing? Well, you've been seeing me on these daily focuses and um, you've been seeing me on the Sunday, vo Sunday videos too. And, um, and so I just wanna let you know that God has, I've been praying about this and God has changed something in my focus. Instead of doing our daily focuses, 
Uh, I need to spend time looking at what does the future look like for us. And I've been doing some webinars and reading and trying to do some research on what church should look like after the stay at home thing has been relaxed or lifted. I want to be wise. I want to be smart. I don't want to just throw caution to the wind or, or be rebellious to our authority and say, forget you, we're doing what we want. And so I've been trying to walk through some things, think through some things. And so I am, I am pausing the daily focus and, and we'll do a couple touches throughout the week, maybe three videos a week, something like that. Um, but I just want to focus on, on where we're going. So this is what I have been doing the last couple weeks on top of our daily focuses. We have um, doubled our life groups. And so I'm, th this is a great time to investigate what do our life groups look like. And so I don't know what Governor Holcomb's going to say. But I think he's going to do something like this. I think he's going to say, okay, so we're going to relax a little bit. You can have a group more than 10. I don't think he's going to just say, forget it. Let's go back to the way it was. I think it's going to be a progression. And so we're working really hard at firming up and sharing up our life groups. And we're trying to make sure everybody has a connection. If they want to be in a life group, they have the opportunity to be in a life group. Some people don't. That's fine. Um, there's, there's no guilt or pressure in this. But if you're not part of a life group, please let us know if you want to be part of one and we'll get you connected and we may even start more groups uh, like we've been doing. And, and I just want to say this, my wife, uh, Lisa, she deserves a ton of credit. Um, she's been putting in a lot of time helping me organize our life groups. So this is what I'm thinking. This could change. As I've been kind of thinking through, praying through, God, what do you want us to do? Next week, we are going to start taping at church um, our, our band and the preaching, we're going to come together and do one video instead of trying to do things in our basements and splicing things together. And so we're going we're gonna to attempt that. Um, something I will tell you that Trish was trying to do when this happened six weeks ago, we talked about live streaming and I've had a lot of questions about live streaming. And so Trish uh, needed some kind of part. I don't know what it was. And Justin Miller, you know, he's helped us tremendously with this. And so we've tried to order the part we needed to, to do live streaming, but it's on back order. It's everyone's going to live streaming and this it's a very hard piece to find now. And so just to let you know why we're not live streaming, hopefully when that part comes in, we can start heading in that direction. But, but I just want to tell you that. So anyway, uh, where was I? Um, <clears throat> yeah, th this is what I'm thinking. And this could change depending on what the governor says people's safety, what medical professionals say. What I'm thinking is as we transition next week into start taping at church and doing the music and the preaching there, that when the governor relaxes this, and as long as people feel safe and no one's sick, uh, I'm going to invite our life groups to meet together and take in the Sunday talk and the, the Sunday music, and, and then they can be together in a small group, in, in their life group, and we're gonna start kind of taking little bites at a time. I'm also thinking that as the governor continues to relax things and more people can be together, that we would start inviting a life group or two or whatever to our live tapings at church. And I mean, how do you figure out who gets to go to church or not? So th this is what I'm thinking. And this could change as I continue to do research and I continue to talk to more people and, and listen to our leadership. And if you have thoughts about this, I'll, I'll take them. And, uh, but I just wanted, to, wanted you to hear where I'm at, what I'm thinking, what we're doing, and, um, and just get it from me. Something else about Julie and our life groups, as, as if this is the plan that we're, we're going to work, that um, Julie is going to put together packets for our life groups. And so our life groups can meet and take in church and, and sing and all of that. And the adults can be together. <clears throat> and then the children will have their own material because Julie will have the packet ready. And it'll be age appropriate. And there'll be some, some examples and, and guidelines that you can use in your life groups for children. Okay, one more thing before I, I wrap this up. Mike Shear's done a great job <clears throat> with our men's fight club. And so something under his, his idea and leadership, he has our, our men's fight club <clears throat> that we are going to come together and we are going to do a deep clean, a, a one-time deep clean of CCW. And so we're going to try to bleach things and make, make sure things are sanitized and, 
And, um, and so that's coming. And so if you're wondering, how are we going to address the church? How, is it going to be clean? What, what are we going to do? And so that's the plan for that. Well, I think that's enough for now. I hope that you're doing well. I, I know this is starting to feel pretty long. And I know my family today, just to be honest, we're feeling a little weird today. It's just kind of like, man, how long? And, and um, it, we'll, we're going to be okay. It's just different and we're ready to be together. We're ready to live differently. And, and, um, but I've also enjoyed our family time. We, we were doing family walks. We've never done family walks. And so part of this is what can we do that's good? And so we spend more time together as a family and we're praying together, talking together, doing walks and we're hitting the pumpkin trail a lot and kind of pulling some pranks on our neighbors and, and checking on them too. And, and um, I hope you're doing the same. I hope you're doing okay. I hope that you're safe. I hope that you're well. If you have any needs, please let us know. And we, we definitely want to take care of you. But God bless you. Thank you for just hunkering down. Thank you for taking this journey with us. Thank you for praying for us. So many people have, have expressed that. And uh, I'm grateful. I just want to let you know how proud I am of our staff. And, and they're all working hard. And so thank them when you see them and keep praying for them. Keep praying for people that are in need. Don't forget the Truex family um, losing their, their dad, their loved one. And um, it, it, there'll be more that we share with you. Hopefully everybody's going to be okay. But God bless you. I'm so glad I'm here. I'm glad you are too. And one day soon we're going to be together. All right. God bless. Talk to you soon.